Hello learners of all ages. My name is Mr. Montgomery. I teach fourth and fifth grade math and today we're going to be talking about place value up to billions. Now it's been a while since we've talked about place value since last year, but we're going to review the concept of a place value chart. A place value chart basically shows us the place value of each individual number in a larger number. For example, uh, we have this two. This two is in the ones place. Now, every single place value can be divided up into three different places, or we call them periods. So you see the orange section, that would be the ones period. Yellow section would be the thousands period. Green section would be the millions period. And the turquoise or teal uh, colors over there is the billions period. Now, if we have a large number, such as our uh, number here, 9,316,482, we would say, well, this three right here is in the hundred thousands place. I could say that that's three times 100,000 to tell me what the value of that three is in that place. Three times 100,000 is 300,000. So in your math assignment today, we're gonna to be writing things in standard form. We're also gonna be writing things in word form or number name is what your book calls it. And we're gonna be figuring out what place value does a certain number have or a certain digit have in a certain place value. So let's dissect one of our numbers as an example. We have our large number here. Well, first off, we have to figure out the biggest place value that we have. Well, we know that the first three are gonna be in the ones family. So that's gonna be in the ones family. We know that's gonna be in the thousands family for the second three. We know that the next three is gonna be millions which means that the last family that we have currently on our chart is in the billions. So we know that that's gonna be the second one in billions. So it's not in the billion spot, but it's in the 10 billion spot. Well, we have a five in the 10 billion spot. And I think it might be smart of me to just line it up. So five in the 10 billion spot, five in the billion spot, nine in the 100 million spot, three in the 10 million spot, five in the 1 million spot. Let me make these commas a little bit bigger eight in the 100,000 spot, three in the 10,000 spot, four in the 1,000 spot, another comma, seven in the hundreds, two in the tens, and zero in the ones. So if you're unsure of how big a number is, you can use your place value chart to help you out when it comes to lining up your place values. Now, I have a five in the 10 billion sp spot. That's basically saying five times 10 billion, which one times five is five, and we add all the same amount of zeros at the end. So that would be five, or 50, sorry, 50 billion. That would be five billion, 900 million, three in the 10 million spot would be 30 million, five in the millions would be five million, and so on and so forth until you get to the very end. Your book asks you to write it in word form or number name, that might take a little bit of time, but we can do it. And one more thing to note before we jump into our practice problems. Every single time that you go one place value to the left, you get 10 times bigger if we go to the left. Now, if we go to the right, eventually we're gonna learn that that is about 10 times smaller or one tenth or times one tenth. So we're gonna be focusing on, oh, let's just say this four in the hundreds place. If I go from the hundreds place to the thousands place, that's multiplying 10 times as much. If I go over two spots, well, that's 10 times 10. Well, that's 100 times as much. So for example, if I had a number in the thousands place and they want to know what that would be for the millions place, how many times bigger, I would have to go over one, two, three spots. Well, that's 10 times 10 times 10. Well, I have three zeros in my problem. That means I'll have three zeros in my answer. One, two, three. And one times one times one is one. So going from the thousands place to the millions place is 1,000 times greater. Let's do an example of that. If I'm trying to find something that's 10 times greater than 100,000, I start from my 100,000 and go to the, yeah, I would go to the left side by 10 times as much, which is only how many spaces? One. So going from 100,000, over one space, that would be in the millions. Let's take a look at another example. I have my number here, and if this is the underlying digit, they're asking me what the value of that underlying digit is. Well, there's two ways that I could solve this. 
I could use my place value chart and write all the digits starting from the ones place and going all the way here, or I can count my periods. So I have one period, two period, three periods that are all completely filled. One, two, three, so I know that the first digit that's in the next period is in the billions place. So the underlying digit would be a five in the billions place. Five times one billion is five billion. Another skill that we're gonna to have to use is taking something that's in word form or number name and changing it into standard form, which is the typical way that we write numbers. So the way that we do this is we go section by section and they're all separated by commas, which means that they are all in different periods. So I start from the very beginning. Three million, well, that's a three in the million spot. So I can go from my millions here, I have a three and there's a comma. There's a comma and there's a comma. All right, next section is 540,000. Well, 500, which means that it's in the 100,000. So five would be in the 100,000th place. 540,000, well, 40 is in the 10,000th place. And a zero would be in the 1,000th place because it says 40,000. I'm gonna put a comma. The last thing I have is 37. Well, 37 is not gonna be in the 100th place. I put a zero there. 37, three would go in the tens place, seven go in the ones place, and I've just written 3,540,000, 37 in number, from number name to standard form. And there's gonna be examples where we're gonna to have to take a number from standard form and write it in its number name or word form. We do the same exact process starting from the left-hand side, figuring out what number in what place value. So I have a one in the billion. Well, that's one billion. I'm gonna go off to the side here. One. One billion. I'm gonna put a comma after the one billion because that tells me I have a separation between the different periods. All right, I have zero, four, and two. Well, I have 42 in the 10 millions place and the millions place, so that would be 42 million. 42 million, comma. Now we're going on to the next period. I have zero, zero, and three. The three is in the thousands place. I don't have to worry about the two zeros right now. So three in the thousands place, so that'd be 3,000. So I have three thousand, comma, because we're separating another period. And I have 51 at the end, so I have 51. And I have my number written out in uh, standard form, going from standard form to number form of 1,042,003,051. All right, my fifth grade friends, if we take a look at page number one, you will be seeing that we're gonna be doing practice problems number three, number five, and number 10. For number three, the directions say, write the name of the place that is 10 times the given place. Remember, we go over to the left if something is 10 times greater and every single place value to the left is 10 times greater than the last. If we go on to number five, the directions say, write the place of the underlined digit, then write its value. So you're gonna be telling me the underlined digit is in what place, and I'm gonna be taking six times that place value to figure out what the whole value of that number is. And for number 10, the directions say, write the number in standard form. So we have the number 300 billion, 1006. If you have any questions about place value to billions, please let me know when you bring this to class tomorrow.